That's the original robot with the original clamshell. I'm going to give a brief uh, overview of how this part was created in SolidWorks. I had the um, an idea of what uh, the uh, part was pivoting off of. This represents a pivot on the robot uh, body. And from there, I just took uh, measurements off of the existing part and made this uh, mechanical part. Uh, so I was able to test uh, left and right uh, on it. Um, you know, send it to SLA. Um, I built a representation of the uh, robot's body so I could see everything in context and this is the first uh, test of uh, these parts just to you know just really quickly done I wasn't too crazy about these uh, this body type and I'll show you what I ended up with uh, next Okay, here we see the uh, just the mostly the mechanical features on the uh, robot. Um, okay, here is uh, one part that was designed uh, around the uh, existing mechanicals. It has uh, pivots and uh, clearances, and also. Uh, allows the uh, part to be pulled down and to be pushed up uh, by the existing uh, robot toy uh, mechanism. Try to keep the wall thicknesses fairly thin, uh, 40 thousandths. Uh, the ear is, uh, you know, just has these uh, really thin ribs. I was afraid of this being uh, flippity floppity. In, I, in retrospect, the, uh, the SLA uh, I'm sorry, the uh, rapid prototype was, um, you know, pretty strong and I didn't need to have uh, ribs underneath and this wouldn't really undergo any uh, true mechanical stress. One side down, one side to go. Anyway, I could just live like that. What do you think? I, it's really cool looking. What? It's just really cool. Uh.